Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with Engineering Mechanics in the topic of projection of planes. So the first question, a circle is placed perpendicular to the vertical plane and inclined to the horizontal. Which of the following is true? Option A, front view is line and top view is circle. Option B, front view is circle and top view is circle. Option C, front view is line, top view is line. Option D, front top view is ellipse and side view is ellipse. So the correct answer is option D, top view is ellipse and side view is ellipse. So next question, a triangle is placed perpendicular to the horizontal plane and inclined to the vertical, which of the following is true? Option A, front view is line and top view is triangle. Option B, front view is triangle and top view is line. Option C, front view is line and top view is line. Option D, top view is line and side view is line. So the correct answer is option B, front view is triangle and the top view is line. So next question, if the square is placed on its base parallel to the horizontal plane and the plane containing square is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and inclined to the vertical plane, then the top view gives the line of length equal to the side of the square. Option A, true. Option B, false. So the correct answer is option A, true. So next question, a pentagon is placed perpendicular to the horizontal plane and inclined to the profile plane, which of the following is true? Option A, front view is line and top view is pentagon. Option B, front view is pentagon and top view is line. Option C, front view is line and top view also line. Option D, top view is line and side view is line. So the correct answer is option B, front view is pentagon and top view is line. So next question, if a thin set square is kept perpendicular to the both horizontal and vertical planes, its a true shape is seen in option A horizontal plane, option B vertical plane, option C axillary plane, option D profile plane. So the current answer is option D profile plane. So next question, if both front and top views of the plane are straight lines, the true shape will be lie on option A profile plane, option B horizontal plane, option C vertical plane, option D axillary plane. So the correct answer is option A profile plane. So next question, a front view of the elliptical plane may be option A an ellipse, option B straight line, option C a circle, option D any one of the above mentioned. So the correct answer is option D any one of the above mentioned. So next question, if the top view of the plane is Rohambus the object may be option A square, option B either A or B, option C A Rohambus, option D neither A nor B. So the correct answer is option B either A or B. So next question, a 60 degree set square has the shortest edge in the vertical plane. The surface is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and the incline to the vertical plane. Its front view may appear as option A an equilateral triangle. Option B, an isosceles triangle. Option C, an obtuse angle triangle. Option D, an acute angle triangle. So the correct answer is option B, an isosceles triangle. So next question, a plane surface has dash dimension. Option A, 0. Option B, 2. Option C, 3. Option D, 2.5. So the correct answer is option B, 2. So next question, a square plate of negligible thickness is inclined to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane, the front view will be appear as option A rhombus, option B rectangle, option C inclined line, option D square. So the correct answer is option C inclined line. So next question, when a surface of the object is inclined to the plane of projection, it appears dash in the view. Option A foreshortened, option B as a line, option C in true size and shape, option D as a point. So the correct answer is option A foreshortened. So next question, in multi-view orthographic projection, the front view of the circular plane may be option A circle, option B an ellipse, option C a straight line, option D any one of these. So the correct answer is option C a straight line. So next question, if a plane is inclined with both the reference plane, then the plane come under option A, axillary plane, option B, oblique plane, option C, perpendicular plane, option D, cross planes. So the correct answer is option B, oblique plane. Again, we will see next video. Thank you.